Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Isha Training Solutions. Guys, this is Kumar Gupta. I know it's been really long I made the videos. Um, these days I'm getting some projects, guys, some freelance projects and keeping me very, very busy. Honestly, today, uh, yesterday I could send a test closure report and then uh, uh, I got some time. So, you know, I've been getting a lot of requests on so many interview questions, uh, but I couldn't create the videos. Uh, so. Today, uh, one of the guy called Rajendra asked me what is the difference between an app server or a web server. Uh, so uh, I have sent this document to him. Um, you know, I'll send it. Uh, I mean, I thought I'll create a video. I'm sure a lot of people have this question. What is the exact difference between app server web server? Uh, may not be. This is not an interview question, guys. I don't know anybody would ask you in the interview. But as a performance tester, you need to know the exact difference between both of them. And this simple five minutes video will make it very clear for you, for a lot of the people out there. Uh, this is like a totally non-technical kind of uh, uh, thing, you know, uh, that I have prepared here so that you can easily create, understand. So let's understand a, a fictional world wherein, let's say, the app server and web server are talking to each other uh, uh, and see how it looks like. You know, it says this app server is talking to web server. Let's assume. And, it, uh, you know, you see what app server is saying. Hey, web server. And the web server is saying, oh, yo, what's up? Okay. And then the app server says, hey, not much. Okay. Then the web server is saying, what can I do for you? Okay. Let's see, you know. App server has started the conversation. Web services, what can I do for you? Now, app server is requesting the web server. Okay, let's see what it is saying. Well, I know you are really great at serving up the static files. It is telling to web server saying that, oh, you have some static files. You are very good at serving those static uh, files or giving those static files back to the client whenever they ask for. Uh, but you are going to get some crazy requests for JSPs and serverless that you will you will you won't be able to find on your file system, okay? And basically, I will tell you guys these JSPs and servlets are does contain a dynamic content, not static content. And by the way, you would understand what is static and dynamic, guys. You know, static is doesn't change whoever. Uh, law, whoever is requesting for it dynamic it changes from person to person for example the Facebook when you log in it will show you your wall when I log in it is showing my wall these are dynamic contents static means my website Isha training solutions website anybody would ask for you know it's the same page which shows up it's static it's pretty simple so what app server is telling to web server anything you have static you're very good at it but when you get dynamic, you would go get crazy. So it is asking, what do you want to do? So web server is saying, really? Oh, is that so? So it is worried now, web server. Okay, static I'm good at, but dynamic, what I'm going to do? So if I'm not going to be able to find those JSPs or servlets, which the client is asking for, then I end up giving 404 uh, you know, pages back to the client and client will not be happy with that. Obviously, he will be pissed off. Okay. Now the app server has a solution for this. What it is saying, hey, calm down, don't get overwhelmed, okay? It's not the end of the world, okay? So here is what you have to do now, okay? Just take those requests, whatever those dynamic requests for JSP or service, take those requests, send it to me, okay? I'll handle them because application server contains some code which the developer has developed and it is good at handling the dynamic codes, okay? I'll handle those requests generate some HTML files and give those HTML files back to you and you can send those HTML files back to the client. That's what his app server is saying. Whenever there is some dynamic content, give the request back to me. I will do whatever is required, create the HTML pages for those requests, give it to you and you can give it back to the client. And now web server is saying, oh, wonderful man. I'm very, very happy. This works. And moreover, you see, you do the work, but the client think that I am handling the request. I like this arrangement already. How do I know what files to send you though? Okay. So web server likes that arrangement, but it is asking. So when do I know and how do I know what is those files or what is those requests that I have to send it to you? And what is that I have to handle it myself? Application is serving. Application server is saying, don't worry. I'll make a thorough list and write it down in a XML. Okay. Just read that XML uh, every once in a while and keep it up to date on your files. And whenever you see those requests, send it back to me. So what is the app server saying? 
I'll create a nice neat XML to you with all those requests that I will handle and that you have to send it to me. So what you do, you read that and then whenever you see that kind of request, send it to me. And every once in a while, I'll update that XML, send it back to you. So you keep update, you read it whenever you get an updated copy. That's what App Server is telling. Web Server is saying, great, but when, but when I do get a request for an item on the list, how will I know when to send to? Okay, I mean, where do I send that to? Okay, so basically it needs to know the IP address of the app server and the port with which it needs to send all that information so that the web server can send that request to you, uh, send, send the request to app server, right? So otherwise, how would, do, how would web server know where to send it? Imagine somebody has to send a letter to you they need to know your name, they need to know your address so that they can send a letter to you. Similarly, when the web server has to talk, send something to the app server, it needs to know the IP address of the web server, app server and also the port via which it can send the request. Okay, so it is asking, how do I know? The app server is saying, don't worry about it. It's all covered. That XML also contains, whatever the XML that I'm supposed to send, it also contains the IP addresses and the ports combination to send the request to. So I'm not only sending which request, I'm not only keeping the information in the XML for which request you have to send it to me, but also for that particular request, I'm going to give you the port IP addresses, all that in that XML so that whenever you see that request, you just send it, send it to me on that IP address on that port. Okay. And if you have a problem understanding what it is, I have the library files as well. So you can read it. So you see, I really like the relationship. So this is what it is, guys. This is the exact difference between the web server and app server. So web server good at handling the static content and app server dynamic content. That's about it. And you also know how uh, now the web server can send a request to app server because it's all there in the XML. It knows which IP address the request needs to be sent to where, which port. So this simple video, I think, will make a clear understanding of what is difference between app server and web server. Okay, now these days, you know, the web server, app server are much more complicated and they're making it one and no clear line is drawn as to what is web server, what is app server because the web server these days contains the code and it can handle itself the dynamic content or the app server itself is happening, adding as a, uh, you know, acting as a web server because it is itself is handling the static content. So these days we are calling them as web app servers. So these days the line is becoming thinner and thinner, but this is what is supposed to be an exact difference between a web server and an app server guys so i hope this five minutes ten minutes video is worth your time uh, i'm really glad I, I am back and now i'll try to make some videos if you have any questions interview questions any questions post it to me guys this is my whatsapp number and if i know the answer or if i can get the answer i'll get it or if i know the answer i'll share it create the video and post it on my youtube channel and there are a few more geometry questions that i've received in this last few months if i see if i can dig into those questions and then i'll try to answer it here guys um, and by the way as an isha organization the training center we have grown leaps and bounds in the last two years and thanks to every one of you uh, for making this happen i really really thank everybody i left a well-paid job to start this institute and without your uh, help okay i it wouldn't have been possible i would have went back to the jobs yeah i would have made some good money but now i'm doing what i am passionate about okay and that is possible just because of you guys thank you so much uh, we have wonderful courses these days now roshan is doing a wonderful job doing this cloud performance engineering sarvanan and satish are doing extremely good job in keeping this performance engineering classes going on we are getting overwhelming reviews for them and Vallabh has grown leaps and bounds in the last two one year and is doing an excellent job with the uh, jmeter and sarvanan is doing good job with the uh, wonderful job in fact you know tremendous job with app dynamics dynatrace closes uh Krushik on load runner he has picked up really well and getting wonderful reviews so 
and a Satish special mention to him because he came out with some good courses like good crash courses and is about to get, come out with some good courses as well so we are trying to find some good trainers if you think you are a good trainer and you can you have a good performance testing knowledge our doors are always open and you can make some good money as well initially the money will be little low but you gain the popularity there's a lot of money to make guys so yes thank you so much so and again you know we have some wonderful courses you can you can take those courses guys thank you so much uh, god bless you all and keep watching my uh, channel and then keep subscribing and spread the word around really appreciate if you can share this video with everybody my heartful thanks to each and every person who is watching this videos and uh, uh, sharing it with friends and subscribing thank you take care bye bye